gracing this occasion, the NGC press briefing on the Patino contribution then to governance from an opposition standpoint. Over the years, the contributions then we would not make as a party to governance as we the fight for the interests of the people of Serbia. We named a GISMED for the Mami Suma, the National Organizing Secretary of the NGC Party. I want to start off by introducing our able, uh, indefatigable chairman, Dr. Dennis Bright. Some of you all know him. We'll get to his Secretary General, Al Haji Ambani Sharif. We'll get to Western Region Chairman, Mr. Apo Pierce. We get uh, one of the female leaders, Mr. Madam Dupare Sila. And she is also responsible for managing the affairs of the office. Um, today, brief briefing, I want to start by uh, recognizing the presence of the media representatives and particularly the one that we come on the provinces. Uh, but before I do that, I want that we get one minute silent prayers. Now tell Papa God thank you for the opportunity we don't give as a nation and the ability we give for recognize in goodness in our life and the strength we give as we continue for fight for the economic soul of this nation. So let us pray a silent prayer. Amen. Amen. Brief now about the importance of this press briefing. We will title the NGC press briefing on the party's contribution to governance from an opposition party standpoint. One let the people of Salon Mose, the NGC not just exist as a name. We will fight for the economic soul of the people of this nation and all the major things that we don't do we will contribute to governance. Some of which we don't have for shape up the good thing that will happen in this country right now. We will be saying if we don't be against with voices and stand for and on behalf of the people of this nation, the benefit we get right now, not forget them. So we can highlight some of them in a little more. And um, <coughs> And we will continue from a very significant uh, contribution a day from different angles, both in the House of Parliament, what we parliamentarians are not doing over the years, the bills that we are not promote, the changes that we are not influence, the development that we are not influence within this country over the past years. Now we can outline to now. And as we do that, we also collaborate in so many other areas as we prepare for the 2022-2023 general elections. Because we are for given option to the people of Sierra Leone to get the right governance we they deserve. Without much ado, this is Jismet Fodiman Isuma. I hand it over to the chairman, Dr. Dennis Bright. Thank you very much, Mr. Jismet Suma. Make uh, I join you for welcome uh, the ladies and gentlemen of the press. We we get the privilege for host today and the very first press briefing where NGC they get in the year 2022. And I want to say the NGC now one of the largest political parties in Sierra Leone by virtue of the number the number of votes that we've been get in the last election, and we win four seats in the parliament, one district council chairman, and 19 elected councillors, Kambia, Koinadugu, and Falaba. Uh, since the election we done, 2018, the NGC party done the work in this country. And we get a style we we'll call constructive opposition, meaning that 
when governments do something we feel say that in the best interest of the country, we can support them. But then we can oppose any negative policies or actions them we then take we will feel say will affect the people them at this country. And we commit we say, uh, for continue for do so because this day in line with the main principle where the guide we party when uh, country first and country first in whatever we they say and whatever we they do. Today on press briefing, we want to do part of the press briefing. Now for highlight some of the great work we will party done they do over the years, especially in the past uh, three to four years. And that will be basically come down to defending the interest of the millions of voiceless Sierra Unions. We continue for suffer in poverty. We deserve the people of Sierra Leone. According to the responsibility we will get as a political party, and you will find that inside the Political Parties Act 2002, we say political parties then they for shape the political will of the people and for educate the people, for disseminate information on political ideas, social and economic programs uh, of national character. And that we don't do. For them, one pound now we don't follow. Uh, NGC in Wokna, this country. When I could not say we members of parliament, them, they don't come out as some of the most critical voices we will get in the House of Parliament. Every time there is a debate, people want to know what NGC could say. And in line with we style for constructive opposition, we don't look, we don't do plenty thing, we don't push for plenty thing. Take women's empowerment, for instance. What I don't say, according to one evaluation we USAID been do, women in Sierra Leone are about now over fifty-two percent of the total population in this country. But yet. Then the woman then get less than 20% of their position that we then elect people into. Now, while we woman them, now the more they suffer the burden of economic hardship in the country, their own voice, their own participation, you know. A very very low, and will not see themselves better. There are many reasons for that, um, but then things there are some the things that we we party on the struggle with for tribe or fight. Even within your own party, we the fight for bring women there for step forward, for take, for take part in the activities. So we don't advocate alongside civil society partners for women, and we will continue to do so. Um, interesting for not say, why is government congratulating itself? Say the law introduced then gender empowerment bill in the country. Authorities then, on the other hand, then don't they deliberately they humiliate and 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 disgrace the few women of excellence 
we don't occupy very senior positions in this country. Such as the mayor of Freetown, we almost every month then get for the direct and go for answer question at parliament. And of course, when I know the case of Lara Taylor Pierce, the Auditor General, we they suspend even before the investigator. Simply because them people they are, the woman they are, they insist on being upright and professional. <clears throat> we don't advocate also for diaspora voting. We party believe say that now the fundamental right of every citizen, whether that citizen they don't left this country or not, and the fundamental right of every citizen for vote. We salute people then at the diaspora then it contributes significantly to the economic development of the country. Even to the personal development of citizens. We all know the road will really lead to Ria and what's the other one? Ria, Monogram, Western, Western Union, etc. We all know the roads leading to them place them day. Basically, for go get support from we family and within a diaspora. But when you put all the contribution together, then they pump significant amount of funds into the economy in Ayaso. Whereas then they cushion the shock of poverty with people there, they suffer. So if then they do all that work day, we feel, say, the entitled as citizens of this country for votes. Almost all the parties then within a parliament, they be promised, some of them put another in diaspora, now they manifesto. They be promised, say, they will make sure, say, Diaspora people, we could for register. Then we brought us the way they are brought, and we could for register and vote. Now, place we near to who side and tap. Their own location, then, for instance, na embassies, the local, they do now other countries. Then. Now, the NGC. But we don't pursue this um, issue here, so forget the people in the diaspora for vote. I remember almost them, I don't work out, me and Dr. Kande Yukela, for go to the former chief minister, for go discuss this issue. In fact, the NGC go one stage further for write a project for show how easy it will be for implement diaspora registration and voting we uh, neck use or probably NCRA or any of the other institutions in the, so that we brother and sister they cable for vote no law no day in this country we say diaspora not for votes. No law no, no day. So we're not get legal problem. All we need to get for the administrative things then and then get for put in place so that people can be able for votes. Now we tell God thank you. We all we efforts we will advocate for letting people that we get dual citizenship, let them self feel. They want we born in a salon, or we let people that come on a salon, let them self feel like we self see our unions. We tell God, thank you. We, the courts, 
we don't take a decision, Supreme Court will not take a decision. Every government self self don't follow and go to parliament um, for make them legalize the uh, the rights for dual citizens them. So I don't know get dual citizenship. Um, the right for vote and for let them vote for them. We are very happy that we don't try and we don't work forget that kind of uh years before election they come. When I remember that cyber crime bill, that cyber crime bill we the term we've been come out twenty third of June nine parliament been passed into law. But in the original form we've been capable. The kind of power we've been due to some people then. I think say individuals they don't feel safe again. But the NGC been joined other people then, parties or other people then, and civil society. For fact for them, we look this bill properly and then we've been joined intensive debates them in the parliament and so that major amendments then be make then be make major amendments then to the original bill just for make the fundamental freedom of people for talk for express themselves and their rights to privacy they no go infringe by them you know One of the core values then of the NGC party now for lead a nation we united, free and just. Unfortunately, we discover see in recent times administration then then more or less not busy um, about the divisions then tribal and ethnic divisions them, and regional divisions the way they happen in this country. And they don't seem for care for maintain tribal and regional balance, especially when they make appointments then to critical positions in a public service. And honestly, it don't seem for become now common practice for Make them sack people them. Sometimes they, they, they sack them so unceremoniously and disgracefully. They then deprive them even of their daily bread. Whenever a new government them form up, purely because they belong to a certain tribe or they feel say they come from a particular region. In real opinion at NGC, this is now one thing we don't contribute greatly. Not just for tribal division in the country, but also for the deep anger and bitterness and hatred we don't go deep inside the society. With people that don't become so bitter and it affects life. Every aspect of life in a salon. Now, for begin to address that particular issue, day, we member of parliament then, led by Honorable Alaji Dr. Kande Kola Yumkela, it only called for a bill we will go make uh, ethnic inclusion. What you call ethnic inclusion? We go mean say apart from qualifications, competency and experience, we will consider say not not more than thirty percent of one particular tribe not for occupied position within a particular public institution. Now something we they don't implement in a place like a Kenya. Where they work perfectly. So, but we believe, say, with the kind of division we don't in our country, 
we own NGC, don't begin to think about that. So one way we will go attempt to go begin for bring the people in together and make everybody feel as if they are included. Now, if we're able, after we don't consider qualification, competence, and all that, if we're able for make sure that we don't get one particular tribe with dominate positions, then now all the institutions then. Now, corruption and the audit reports. We on party NGC, we really worried with the this current administration, the poor record of compliance with established laws, rules, and procedures. But we even more worried with the kind of picture where they come out, where they show lack of accountability and transparency, and the fitty factor way where they spend public funds at this government. We remember I say this now taxpayer money. And that the, go the government they under obligation for spend the people their money responsibly. We notice uh, even though the current government then go to a lot to long then try forgive the picture of the previous government as a government we corrupt. The audit reports them, and all the reports where they come out for, or documentation where they come out from African Express, in a show say, right now, self Usa Odeso, massive corruption, they take place. We they see the sign, say people and the chief at this country, and the chief man they know themselves. What is interesting is, I don't know if I don't notice it, nobody not seen for them make any serious attempt for proof, say, waiting African Express be the talk, not lie. For proof, say, uh, massive looting of public funds not to take place. In February 2021, where certain information come out or allegations come out about many things there, including the fact that some money they need or about some kind uh, account we then set up either by or for the first lady we government they pump uh, some funds into them where the allegation they be come out. We try to find the truth about the matter. We realize that we get a right for ask for information under what they call as citizens of this country. We get the right for get information about public issues under the right to information law of 2013. So we decide for use that law day for go and go ask for let them give you information for proof whether waiting them the top not true or not. We're not get no information about this. But at least the bank governor if he replied to me, and when he replied to me, I for tell you say, they know they disclose uh, confidential information about the about the clients, even though which we talk about in a public funds, in a public money. So we're not for no self whether these issues, then issues they are not true. But we are not going to ever forget, and we the NDC will not go ever stop 
for ask, when you make the ACC take today, they're not able to tell me, when you happen to 49,000 bag of rice, which Chinese they've been giving you? <laughs> when at school, we give them, they've been giving for. And then guys, the day, as far as we will see and know, now inside the hands of government, government officials there, now they appear. But why is SEC the run out of other people then? When you reach that side, they, it seems as if they're not able to touch people there. We wonder if not to it they call sacred cow. And how the ACC go able for convince we say they're genuine for fake corruption. Where well, they're not able to tell me <clears throat> up to now, 49,000 bag of rice, Usai ego. And we in the NGC, we're not going ever tired for ask whether before election or after. We want to know what will happen with them bags of rice the way they in intend, but they will begin to eat. The recent, the recent audit report said we on a all know about. It is show honestly how this government they disregard procedure and how it appears as if they refuse transparency and accountability. Just days or weeks before the Auditor General been for release in audit report, we all know. So rather than release the report, they pull and come out, they root and Casada come out now in the office with the they say they suspend them. But when they don't suspend them down, now they say they, they, they can't set up a tribunal for investigator, but we don't know, you know, clear what they want for investigator. Meanwhile, when they don't pull and come out there, <coughs> we find out, say, the office go present an audit report to parliament. We know say that the, the lady will be the, lady, the auditor general and we supposed to present the report. Today. All of us in will present the audit reports in the parliament. And Africanist press again, when nobody not disputes their hate, they don't begin to say that report where they will present in the parliament so it different from the one way that mommy be long prepared because they say they don't pull parts of that that mommy young report they don't pull them they air them where they show big 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 teeth and corruption with big big people in this country <coughs> they don't commit so what do we know now now whether the audit report within a parliament now the real one bar or whether the mami or all these reports, we don't prepare before they start they pull up and suspend them. Whether nine days before the parliament or not. Anyway, when I don't say when disaster can happen in this country. Like a damn flood and we flood in be a bay or like a fire disaster now at all. When I can see the newspaper, they can full of pictures of government officials there where they go visit the scene. Hmm. And they go visit the scene. And they all can look so sad and sorry when they visit the scene. Then they go back. But we now, NGC, we believe, say, we get one disaster, we big, seriously, we big, and we continue for the happen every day in this country, but nobody knows the visit. 
and that disaster then a hardship. Anybody we don't follow NGC, then we not say we don't the talk about this disaster since October 2019. When we go down now, the market, the market, for go find out the prices of food stuff. Then see the way the ordinary man. They live on. And for God find out how the prices then they increase since October 2019. The NGC we believe that every responsible government it gets a duty for go close to the to the people for find out how they manage for live. From day to day. What to make we NGC they do so? Now for make we go get we own priorities right. That is for make we go able for cater for the needs of the people. But since 2018. Will this new new direction come for Rompa Win? The price of basic items like rice, oil, gari, they don't go so high. Whereas the household income, which in the average household they get, the money within they get. He more or less don't remain the same. Although, for instance, the minimum wage, government we don't try raise them by 20%. But what in 20% will do? We are that increasing. When, for instance, in relation to the August 20, 2018 prices, <laughs> The price of rice per cup, they don't go up from, from October 2018. The price of rice per cup, if we don't go up by 67%. The price of gari, the price of gari, we don't go up by 100%. The price of bunga, we don't go up by 500%. <laughs> the price of small type lassas, we don't go by 500 percent. Cook free, we don't get beef, you don't get fish. If you don't go up by 67 percent. Pepper at that time, we don't go up by 1,329 percent. Remember, we don't need like 10,000. We, at NGC, we don't do everything. Where they in with power for draw the attention of government to this what we call human slide. Now, I don't say we can get more slide, but this hunger, yeah, what they call a human slide. We don't do everything possible for draw government to attend, the attention to this human slide into hunger and deprivation. We're not already even start for takes on people in life. The best response we don't get from them. Now for tell we for refer we to free education. And for say that the tuition money, the tuition money, we people that they pay, they don't put them back. Now they're in pockets. We not say the free quality education are bad thing. And we not say you know they bring some relief to parents them all. Even though we don't particularly get serious reservations about the quality of the education. But we discover see 
the rising cost of living, it don't affect any impact with free quality education, you forget. And the well-being of the people. <clears throat> now this make we party we go out again, go investigate the business sector for no what you make the prices they are so just the rocket. And by what we get, we we'll immediately come and call government and ask government, let them declare a state of economic emergency and make them call all economic stakeholders them around the table, all business people them, market, transporters, etc. Let them call them around the table. For let them ask them how they feel. Because we've been discovered, see, most of the business they are so. They will not begin the supper because of the galloping taxation and then unfriendly regulations they will be their effect. And we will discover, see, at the end of the day, now the ordinary man, now he will get for bear this, the burden of them businesses they are with the sofa. Other area of interest where we don't work on are human rights issues. The NGC party, we concern about the, I don't know if I'm talking about the insensitiveness, where they make like they're not, they're not a feel for the suffering of them people them. We don't survive or we related to people every day when are victims of massacre, such as the Padeva massacre and other human rights abuses. We don't occur during this administration. We get some questions then we we think say one of them journalists need for the ask. For instance, whose kind of action, punitive action, they don't take against them police working gladly for pull the trigger? Them trigger will kill young demonstrators in Amakini. Whose action do they not take? Who here don't take responsibility for them? About 30 inmates, them, and I think one is in water. We then kill, we then shoot, and put them by World Correctional Center. And who signed the report then if they don't make any investigation about them today? <coughs> We also don't draw attention to the conditions that we did in our prison and then detention facilities. We believe, say, them place they are so they're inadequate and that get thousands of we citizens them where they continue for language and their position. Some of the crowd, the cells there, they are so overcrowded and everybody knows that. Not forget, say, the people are waiting at their place there, they are not mortal man there. They could all wait in there. Whatever they don't do with their city, they do correct. But they are citizens like everybody. And human rights, Human rights inquire 
that government encounters them or accord a minimum level of dignity and respect for fellow citizens. Then. And apart from the appalling situation of the detention facilities, then, we discover, see, the people then continue. Some people are within a detention. Then they hold them for long periods without trial. That is also an abuse of the rights. One other abuse where we note and where we hope the government will take seriously. A lot of people, especially in the Western area, they don't suffer because over the different administration and the Ministry of Lands, they don't uh, to Babati, they don't grab the land common at the hand. Not to do open call set. They grab the land just because power they get power. Many of the people that we don't suffer from that, then they in silence because they don't get anyway for let them help them. Some of them don't go report as they've been called them for going report. But till today they not see it, not yet. And we don't talk to some of them, we don't decide to see. Then we let them kiss the God. <clears throat> but non governments not supposed to be happy when people are in a situation when they suffer injustice and they don't get any relief but for left in case be God. So, the forthcoming elections, the NGC, we don't then at the forefront of them political party them, activities them for advocate for learning certain reforms, electoral reforms, then they will make them. And as recommended by, you know, the election observer groups that will be coming for the 2018 election. We don't take part from plenty of activities there. Conferences, seminars then, with a neck, PPRC, and development partners and even civil society organized. We've always been present. And we have made very, very valid and strong contributions there. And besides, on the issues there are of electoral reforms, whether legal or not, we don't get so many engagements with the media. Plenty of people are known in face uh, television, through television. Now, the NGC is very proud of the substantial contribution we would have made since 2018 for shape the political will of the people and for educate the, man, the nation. And so, the NGC in the forthcoming elections, the NGC believe, so we will demonstrate to the nation or to people there, say that we policy will we get, that we policy will we get, and we will only follow since 2018, of staying close to the people, of studying the situation of the people, of feeling the hardship of the people, and speaking up for them. That we policy did, but this election will come. Una said, Ossi said, the best policy we NGC don't get. 
some people in our government, <laughs> then they mock we. They say we're going to market. it. They say we're going to buy. But we know that we do what they do. Now the right thing for go close to the people and understand what is the people and they suffer. So that when, not if, when we come to government, we priorities they know they go to Lungi Bridge, whilst the people there, the Bele empty. We go align with priorities there, with the real needs of the people. Now, and that ten day, it will be the turn of Sierra Leoneans then, for tell the world that they're not a full man, and that they're not ready for real change under the NGC. The NGC don't recognize, say, the time don't come for all the aliens therefore come together and unite for the common purpose of developing the country and for improve the quality of life of the citizens. So we're very proud for being members of the Consortium of Progressive Political Parties, COP. And uh, a platform we don't achieve so much in so short a time. And to this end, as we approach the next elections, we the talk say we will be open to all options, including and especially joining a progressive on the line, a progressive coalition a progressive coalition that will go into the elections for form an inclusive government and deliver programs we go the right uh, rooted in the real needs of the people of this country. For conclude, we will let for make the following de declarations. One, the NGC supports all efforts being made to promote increased women's participation and inclusion. And we will continue to advocate with our political partners and civil society for make very radical changes for improve the condition of women in this country. Secondly, at the same time, we they demand that the authorities we don't they persecute women in authority, such as the mayor Ivan Akisoya and auditor Laratilo Pias. Let us stop forthwith and realize say, the way we that they treat their women of substance day, it will bring too much shame and disgrace to this country. Number three, we demand that government through NEC, NCRA, and other relevant ministries and departments, let them immediately start for put things in place for enable with brothers and sisters in the diaspora for register and for vote. Now, centers and we go day in our diplomatic missions abroad. Four, with the old government for imp implement with effect from the 2022-2023 elections, that Supreme Court decision, where they in line with government in recent law, for give dual citizens then the right for let them vote and for let them vote for them. Will they stand by the position that the Auditor General they remove them illegally from office, and that? They will not be making undergo any examination by a tribunal before they suspend them, uh, as the law requires. We believe the government can't continue for the embarrass themselves so by ignoring basic laws and procedures while the people and they watch. Because if gold, if gold 
they turn to rust. You can imagine what the iron will do. Meaning that if government not they follow the law, I can imagine what the citizens will do. We also want to repeat for the 100th time. We demand for the ACC doing job. And let him tell me, tell the nation, who that thief them 49,000 back rest? Will the Chinese government in the giving for we picking them at this country? The NGC continue for demand clarification about whose kind of investigation they don't conduct and the action they really don't take in regards to the human rights issues then, such as the one, the Padema Road Massacre, the Makili killings, the Tumbu killing, the Tongo Limba killing. Let me not forget to say, then thing that they don't happen are human rights abuse. Then thing that they don't happen. Now thing that we don't take on record. And I think us one day, one day, somebody has to give an account. With regard to the forthcoming elections, we just want to tell Nick, say let them display integrity and fairness to all parties across the board, and that the police and the security force system let them demonstrate professionalism and impartiality so that we don't get more police killings then of the civilians. Finally, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to members, we own NGC members then at the diaspora. We are the sponsor this press briefing. And some of them they follow, then they follow this program now in different parts of the world. So I want to tell them thank you for we then sponsor this press briefing. And I got a special accolade forgive to the indefatigable and highly talented organizing secretary, Mr. Jesmen Fodema Misuma. We don't raise the necessary funds for this event. And we, although not holiday come, you don't use the holiday, uh, it come from USA, but you don't use the holiday for coordinate all these events here. So I want to say thank you to you, sir. On behalf of the entire membership of the NDC party at home and abroad, I, Dennis Bright, chairman and leader of NGC, I want to thank you for coming. And I hope you will do your best to disseminate our message. Let not be soon, I just can't answer no more. Don't know you hear nothing again about it. I pray that this year will be good for all of us and that peace will reign in our country. I thank you very much for listening. Thank you.